Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm having a really off day, really down today. Um, I just feel like it's just never gonna end and I just feel so sorry for the NHS staff at the moment. It's... And I wanna see other people of my family properly <laughs> and hug them. I'm sure everyone's feeling the same. Um, anyway. I've been asked if I can do like a crown braid like, or halo braid as they're also called. Um, I'm going to attempt it on myself. I've never attempted one on myself. Um, I've done a few little bridesmaids hairs before of it but um, never done one on myself. So anyway, here goes. So first of all you'll need a couple of hair bands. You may only need one. Um, and some hair grips and bobby pins as the Americans call them um, and a comb um, okay let's get started please ignore Pikachu in the background so I'm just parting my hair where I've been actually wearing my hair at the moment and just leaving some bits out that I want left out of the braid I've parted it into two sections and now I'm just going to put a band around the section that I don't want to grab any of that hair just now. I've already put some texture spray um, just through my hair just to give it a bit more lift. I'm now starting a Dutch braid, um, keeping it to the base of the head. What you want to do is just try and grab those sections and work around the hairline. I would say only attempt this braid if you're really confident in doing Dutch braids already. I'm just going to swap my hands around just to get to more of a comfortable position. It enables you to be able to get that hair right on the hairline. I'm just swapping my hands again to manoeuvre myself around the hair.
If you notice any of the plait is up too high or there's bits poking out, you can always just use a Kirby crib after to go around the hair. Once you've run out of hair, just keep plaiting it all the way down, then just put your band at the end. And then what you can do is just tuck that plait at the bottom, or however long your hair is. You might be able to wrap your hair around more, but I could only wrap mine around once. Again, you can go in and just keep stretching the plait out as you would do normally with a Dutch braid. Um, and then you can just go around the hair and grip as you like. It can be as messy as you want it. So here is the finished crown braid. It's not bad for my first attempt. I'd probably just go around and grip it a little bit more. Um, it's poking out. Um, it was actually quite hard doing it on yourself because you have to manoeuvre your hands so much around your head. Um, on someone else, I know it's easier because I've done it on other people, but actually on yourself it is quite difficult. Um, you just go around and pull the braid out, etc., to how you want. I've just tuck, tucked the plait inside the back. Um, Please share and like the video. Um, if there's anything else that you want me to show you, then please ask. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.